Welcome back to the theme park wizard. I decided I have so much content waiting for you guys that I actually, for the next um, two weeks, for the like, next week and a half, I'm doing a video a day, a video every single day except Saturday and Sunday. So, yeah, please subscribe to this channel for some constant theme park updates. Uh, yeah, I'll see you today, tomorrow, which is Friday, then Monday through Friday of next week in my weekly Wednesday live stream, of course, on Wednesday. Oh, so many theme park topics to talk about. I have to kind of shrink the list, though. I'm going to double up on these videos daily, and then we'll go back to a Monday, Wednesday, Friday type of schedule. But for now, it's all next week. So, today, yeah, or yesterday, or wait, on February 4th, Disney announced that Fast Pass is coming to Autopia and Monsters, Inc. Those two attractions that are one, Autopia's Disneyland Park, and Monsters, Inc. at Disney California Adventure. Now, while it means mean just, while it be just kind of annoying that Fast Pass um, are coming to those unnecessary attractions, um, and Monster Thing, like I said in my live stream yesterday, uh, Monster Thing is a walk on most of the time, more less than 20 minutes, and same with Autopia, so it does not need a Fast Pass. Uh, with Autopia, the real question is does Fast Pass mean it's staying around for a little longer? That's a real question. Now, Tomorrowland has a centralized Fast Pass. So it's not like they need to build any new infrastructure for the Fast Pass system coming to Autopia. Maybe just put some Fast Pass scanners in the queue and that's it. And um, Fast Pass, um, Autopia had Fast Pass before, so they have, already have a dedicated line for that. But, um, but the real question is, do you guys think because the Fast Pass is coming, that the Tomorrowland renovation is happening a little bit later than we thought it was? Um, I heard some rumors from, I guess, from Fresh Bake and My Chat that Autopia this spring will be construction around Autopia. I thought it was, again, another baby step towards the uh, Tomorrowland expansion. And maybe it still is if it does happen. But maybe this could be for the um, Fast Pass. Um, coming to the coming back to the attraction, but maybe not. Um, usually, when usually when there's a fast pass, or usually when uh, I mean, there's an improvement or something to the attraction, because remember they just painted um, Autopia a couple of months ago. I don't know about a two week refurbishment to be painted, just the central tower. Um, but usually when they keep touching up something and they keep making improvements or paying attention to something, um, then. It means it's not, it may be staying around for a little bit longer, but something like the Two Town Hills, where they stopped, just stopped painting those hills for a long time. You see why? Well, now Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Rail Railway is announced, and the Two Town Hills are gone. They'll be nice with brand new hills, hopefully with new material in a couple of years. So, that's, I mean, that's kind of, really has me wondering, and, and I got this actually idea from a uh, Twitter user, his name is Jacob, who commented on my my article about the Fast Pass, which I'll link, I'll link by ThemeParkWizard.net. Please go follow that for smaller new Theme Park News. I'll link that article down below. Um, he said, I'm worried that the attraction is staying now. And I, I'm a little worried too. We'll have to see how the Tomorrowland, well, they can finish the Tomorrowland entrance this spring. And um, hope to see what other kind of construction goes on with Tomorrowland. But I'm, I don't know. I mean, it could very, very well be a temporary thing. And they just added to centralized kiosk, and then when they're ready to do the final land makeover, just completely take it off. And uh, obviously, they can, you know, they're probably doing it you know, to sell more max passes as well to younger children who can't, or are too scared, or just can't ride the bigger rides that offer a max pass. That was probably a prof profitability move, but no. I don't know. Do you think Autopia is staying a little longer? Um, because a little longer than you thought, because they're Disney's adding this fast pass back to it, or <laughs> do you think it doesn't matter? Comment your thoughts below, and um, a couple of notes before I leave. Again, please subscribe for constant theme park updates. There's will be videos Monday through Friday daily for the rest of this week and into the end of next week. And um, also uh, down below. Uh, if you're a SoCal resident, I have uh, links and discounts to the Disney 
parks and other SoCal parks tickets in the affiliate links below. So definitely check those out. The first one's for the SoCal Risen 3-day ticket. It's actually a discount off the discount. Um, you save $5 off for the SoCal 3-day Risen ticket. The 254 goes down to 249 if you're getting a park hopper. And the rest is just a general uh, discount, a Disneyland discount. Um, tickets for all theme parks across Southern California, SeaWorld, Nauts, uh, Disney, Magic Round, and uh, Legoland. So check that out if you're in the area or coming to visit Southern California. But what do you guys think? Comment your thoughts below about this Fast Pass Autopia situation. And I'll see you tomorrow with it, another video on Pokemon.